Hey guys, make sure to send your DNT if you make one common mistake you may end up spending thousands of dollars on tools, parts and diagnostic that you may actually not even need. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW X3 X4 that generation here from year 2010 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you have a red battery light warning on the dash, we'll explain what most likely causes that, what you need to check. It could be simple fix, don't buy new alternator because it could be just a bad, bad fuse and most people do not know where they're located. We will explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, fuses, uh, bodywork, a little bit of everything. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time we're going to put links in the description of the video below for your convenience check it out that way do not waste your money guys also we will have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels check them out guys we'll have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs as well so let's start on it now so guys this bmw has many hidden fuse boxes that most people do not know that they even exist you have up to five or six different fuse boxes and for many of you okay some of those are special fuse boxes kind of like this one here if you don't know about them guys we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on bmw x3 x4 check it out it can save you thousands of dollars in repairs so guys, if you have a red battery light on the dash, what can cause that? Multiple things, but the first thing that you want to check will be some hidden fuses, then we'll explain what else can do it. Please make sure you stand to the end. It should work on BMW X3 and X4 because they share the same platform. But what you guys need to do now, actually, we need to go ahead and open the trunk. In the trunk here on the side, if you remove that cover, Leave that insulation, that's the main trunk fuse box. But before we continue, there is something hidden about it. Let's talk about it, but before we continue, let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance, I'm going to pull one fuse here, okay, and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good, they're bad, and let's say you think you have a good fuse, you put it back in, and you end up having problems again, and you spend time, money, you buy parts, diagnostics, you pay for services that you don't need, guys, you practically wasted your money, so all you have to do is waste, uh, ch ch check your fuses, that way you don't waste waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it. it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys the fuses here you won't have an alternator fuse because the biggest fuse is 40 amps so where it is it could be two different locations if you come to the trunk you see that cover lift it up remove the tray underneath and you will get to the car battery here you have the battery monitor sensor car battery and on top of it you have that power supply module you don't have to remove that red thing guys, but we open one to show you. If you open it, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fuses. Test these fuses guys. The alternator fuse, if it's burned, it's very likely, okay, that you have red battery light on. Alternator will not be charging because of a bad fuse. It will be one of these fuses and check that big one as well. Very important fuse. Another thing now that you need to check if you guys come to the passenger side here remove that cover if you want to see how to do that we have the video it's called uh, it's called uh, fuse box location and diagram on bmw x3 x4 that's a cabin air filter underneath here in, uh, you have another power supply module and if you remove it looks like this one 
check that one as well. Other things that can cause that red battery light to be on could be a serpentine belt that fell. If the, uh, if the belt falls, it will not move the alternator. As a result, it will not charge, you get uh, the battery light on. Another thing, guys, it could be failed alternator as well. If you want to know what are the symptoms of bad alternator, we'll have the video on the channel, but those are some of the most common things, guys, that we actually see here at the garage. So, guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays for your BMW with a good price, quick shipping, guys. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them from because we have very specific fuses, especially these little fuse boxes, guys. Those could be really hard to find. You can see like the one right here as well, guys. And we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping as well. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.